Hello everyone, this is Namrata. Hope you all are doing good. In my previous video, we discussed about Salesforce Global Actions. I request you all to please go through that video first and then visit this particular video. In this video session, we will be discussing about object specific um, uh, quick actions. But before we get into the detail about the object specific quick actions, I request you all who are first time viewers to please subscribe our channel so that you can get notified on many more videos which are coming your way. And if at all you all like my videos, please do share with your friends and colleagues so that it would be useful to everyone. And also please do provide your valuable feedback. Okay, now let's get into the detail of what is an object specific quick actions. Users can quickly go ahead and create or update records. They can go ahead and send emails log a call for a particular object using the object specific quick actions. Now you might be wondering what is the difference between the object specific quick actions and global quick actions. Let's talk about global quick actions which we discuss, which we discussed detailly in our previous session but we'll just differentiate what is the difference between the object specific quick actions and global actions. Global actions as the name suggests uh, this is visible to all over the Salesforce organization wherever it's supported. It can be globally available uh, in the home page or chatter or the Salesforce one mobile applications, etc. Whereas the object specific uh, quick actions, it is visible to on a specific object. You can create the records, you can update the records and there is no need to update in the global publisher layout like we did it for the global action. So that is the major difference. Now that we understand the difference between the global and the object specific quick actions, let's get into the business use case and understand how can we use the object specific quick actions. For our uh, service agents, like uh, working on a case is their primary job and at times a situation may arise that whatever the case they are working on, they may have to transfer it to the another agent or a you for any specific reason. Suppose now if you are on a, on a case on this particular page, my, my whole and sole duty is to work on this specific cage, case. Now, if at all I feel that whatever the case I have got, it is not something which is related to my expertise or it is not related to what we are actually working on. I want to transfer this specific case to a specific um, agent or a, another team who actually can work on this these type of cases. So in order to do that, what I have to always go and do, I have to go to the details tab, I have to click on the case owner and then change or to the transfer. Now in order to make the life of the support agent very easier, what we can do is we can make use of the object specific quick actions called as a transfer case. So what you can do, you can create a quick action call as a transfer case which will allow agents to transfer case with very easily rather than navigating to the details and clicking on the owner. Um, understanding okay how do I transfer the case to another queue so it's all different confusion creating confusion to the service agent rather than you can quickly go ahead and you can create a transfer case quick actions and allow users to use that uh, transfer case uh, quick actions now let us see how we can go ahead and achieve that and get into our demo so in order to get into our demo let's open our developer org go to the service setup and from the service setup go navigate to the object manager from the object manager in the quick find which you see it on the right hand side click on the case that is a case object so that is our business use case right so we are clicking on the case case object and then navigate to buttons links and actions so as per our business use case we will be creating a new quick action with with the name called as a transfer case so this is something which we have anyways discussed in our previous video on the global quick actions as well. So here the action type is create a record. These are all of the different action types that you can create. Using the object specific quick action, you can also see that there is a flow which is get which got added. So you can also invoke a flow using the object specific um, quick action. Let, this, let the action type be the, be the default one which is create a record. Target object you can use with which is a case record type I'm using the product support label I'm using transfer case and then I will use cases transferred successfully 
a success message. Once you click on save, a uh, layout will get open. We'll have to see what and all are the fields that is needed for the service agents. We are, we are trying to make the life of the service agent easier. So rather than using different types of many uh, fields on the layout, let us just use what is important to them. We don't need the contact name. We don't need, uh, okay, let's have the status. We don't need the subject because that is anyways there on the case. We don't need the description. What we need is we need the owner. So let's have the case owner. So we have added just two fields on the layout and click on save. Now that we have created this uh, quick action, what we will be doing is we will have to add this transfer case quick action in our layout. So let's go to the case page layout. And we will go for this specific layout because this is the layout which is being used by default. And we will have to navigate to mobile and lightning actions. And if you toggle to the bottom, you will see that Salesforce mobile and lightning experience action is enabled because I've, I've used this one. So for the first time, if you see this will be disabled, you just have to, there will be a link at the right hand side. You will have to go ahead and remove the uh, reverted we will have to activate this Salesforce mobile and lightning experience action. So when, when you navigate to the mobile and lightning actions, let's go to the transfer case, which you have created and add it onto the, the layout. Let us see if we are using the correct transfer case or not. Let's click on quick save, navigate to the previous uh, tab where you have the cases open and I refresh the tab to see that whether the transfer case quick action it's been updated in my layout or not i see that it is getting it is updated over here let's see if i won't see those two fields yep so this is how we have created a quick actions we have updated the quick action we have bended and added the quick action onto the page layout and since we have added that onto the layout, you can see it on the record page. So users can, the service agent, based upon the business scenario, if they feel that this specific case doesn't belong to them, they can transfer the case using this quick action. Here on the left hand side, you can see either the service agent can transfer it to the another service agent or they can transfer it to the queue. Let's click on queue now and search out for if we have any queues in the Salesforce of we have high priority queue. So what I'm trying to do is this specific case, assume that this specific case doesn't belong to, um, you know, to, to the queue or to the to me. So I would like to transfer this specific case to the some other queue. And that is the reason I'm using the queue as high priority cases and I'm using the quick action. And let, let us keep the status as new and transfer it. So this is how you are transferring the case. Here you can see case is transferred successfully. We have used this success message when we went ahead and created the uh, quick action. So this is how the object specific quick actions are useful and it helps our agents to solve the issues very quickly and very fast. I hope this video session on global quick actions and object specific uh, quick actions and has given you some insight and I hope it has helped uh, you guys as well. Uh, that's all for today. I will come up with another video in my next session. Until then, take care. Signing off. Yours, Namrata Kariala. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.